Hey, good evening, everybody, and welcome to 2015. Wow, ringing in the new year with some bitterly cold Canadian air. We do have a high pressure off to our east, and we are really not feeling a whole lot of that, though we are getting a light uh, east and southwest breeze out of that. Currently, temperatures have been cold. We're in the mid-30s across the heartland. We've only warmed about one or two degrees since lunchtime. When you factor in that southwest and southerly breeze, we're talking... Wind chill values to the upper 20s in Mount Vernon, Carbondale 31, Cape Girardeau 31 in Union City. And look at this, we've also got some rain moving through the heartland, at least the southern half of the area. Starting to see some light rain filling in along in south of Highway 60. You notice that west to east movement. We've had several reports of some light rain, uh, ranging from Dexter down to Malden, uh, all the way through uh, Bernie, Fisk, uh, Missouri, all the way down through uh, the Kennett area. We want to thank you guys for sending those reports in. Well, sometimes when there's a very shallow area of cold air, some dry air right at the surface, it, it gets hard to really pinpoint uh, how accurate this radar is, so that's good. Zooming out a little bit further to the Missouri boot, you'll start to see that steady rain from Poplar Bluff all the way through Piggott, back toward Corning. Uh, this rain is moving east towards uh, Como, all the way through Sykeston, New Madrid, and Carothersville. That rain will continue for the next 30 minutes to an hour. And zooming out for the bigger picture, if you're not seeing the rain, well, you're going to see some cloudy conditions uh, throughout the next 12 to 24 hours. Look at all the rain that's falling south of I-40. They're expecting some torrential rainfall over the next 24 hours. For us, yes, we can see a few light showers through the overnight, possibly mixed in with some sleep, but our big rain event won't actually arrive until Friday night into Saturday morning. You see most of that rain missing us at first, but then another push of moisture moving northward. You can see that right at the end of that time frame where we get some rather heavy rainfall at times. Before the next six hours, you're heading out, uh, finishing up those uh, holiday bash deals. Temperatures are going to be in the mid-30s tonight with a light southwest breeze. You have to watch out for some, some light areas of rain and sleep, but nothing too problematic. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great night.